Hi, welcome to Nuinvox, your channel to learn and explore artificial intelligence. The buzzword of the world today is AI. We have seen so many videos in social media about AI making beautiful photo of us, playing music, translating and so on. What is AI? What is the history of AI? We can see in this video. AI is the idea of human to mimic and digitize the intelligence of living beings. As we know, every living being from an ant to an elephant has its own form of intelligence. They use this intelligence for their survival, like to locate their food, find the threats around them and escape from it and so on. Among all living beings, human beings have superior intelligence and the development of science proved that uh, the human's brain is behind their intelligence. Along with human, their brain also had evolved both physiologically as well as functionally. If we dissect human brain, it, it got various parts like cerebrum, cerebellum, brainstem and so on. Every part has different functions. Along with that, they got some special cells called as neurons, which are fundamental unit of brain nervous system, which is spread across the whole brain. They are responsible for receiving sensory input from the external world, send commands to the muscles and so on. These neurons form intricate networks and connections, enabling complex thoughts, emotions and behaviors. There are around 86 billion neurons in human brain and they form around 100 trillion connections. We might heard about neurologist mentioned sometime about uh, motor neurons. They control the movement of human beings. If we digitize the whole function of neurons, that is what we call as AI. Though the idea of AI was said to be there from ancient days, the real ignition started around 1950s. In 1950s, a group of scientists, mathematicians, philosophers studied whether this intelligence can be given to machines. The most important of them was Alan Turing. He argued that the information humans gathered and their reasoning is behind their intelligence. The same can be applied to the machines as well. This was the starting point of artificial intelligence. He recorded this in his research paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence. Following this, in 1956, John McCarthy first used the term artificial intelligence. Though it sounded doable, implementing this was a challenging task. Because computers at the time were very large, as nearly as the size of a room. Their price also were very high, almost $200,000. No individuals could afford. Only institutions like uh, universities had those. Then computers gradually developed. Their price decreased and size became very smaller. From 1950 to 1974, it can be said that AI was flourishing. Though um, it was flourishing, there were many difficulties at the time. A research student named Hans Morawak said at the time, computers were still million times too weak to exhibit intelligence. Around 1980, a lot of funding was received for uh, research on AI. From 1990 to 2000, great things happened in AI. We all know that in 1997, chess grandmaster Gary Kasparov was defeated by IBM's Deep Blue computer. This was widely publicized. After that, there was a revolution in development of computers, especially in terms of memory, processing power, size, and so on. You can find all this information on Harvard's blog called the History of Artificial Intelligence. So, AI is not something that is invented a couple of years back. It was there with us for a while. Then, why everyone is buzzing about it now? So far, that is until 2022, AI had some limited capabilities like it was able to collect information and perform necessary computations for, on that. For example, if we give 20 years of sales data, it will give us how much sales will be for the next year. If we access a shopping website based on our previous purchases, it will show personalized item for us and so on. But the catch here is the data we provide to AI needs to be in a structured format. For, ex for example, if we access the IVR in a telephone, when we call a bank or a pharmacy, 
it used to ask um, to enter a number to connect to someone or some department if we press the number it will take us to the right person of interest if we press a wrong number it will not work all the responses from the ivr were pre programmed now a is intelligent enough to understand the language of human and can generate the response himself it is called a natural language processing nlp is also a old technology but there is some significant advancement ha- happened on handling natural language processing by november 2022 the tech world got stunned by the release of chat gpt it turned tech industry upside down and everyone started buzzing about chat gpt what is so special about chat gpt it showcased its ability to generate the text without any structured programming also it got the ability to make human like interactions it was gro- groundbreaking achievement in ai how chat gpt achieved that gpt stands for generative pre trained transformer transformer is behind all the magic of gpt though gpt, GPT was uh, released by november 2022 Transformers came 5 years before that that is around 2017 Transformer is a deep learning model that made this possible we can deep dive into transformers in the upcoming videos also as we have seen the biggest challenge in implementing ai was computers because it has no capacity to implement the ai there was significant developments happened in semiconductors and chip industry especially nvidia a chip manufacturing company released a new processor called gpus that made transformers into reality which in turn made chat gpt into reality we can deep dive into all these things in the upcoming videos thanks for watching this video hope it's useful to you please share your comments which is valuable to us also like share and subscribe